Welcome. You're listening to Martial Arts Radio. My name is Andrew Adams. That's right. I am not your host, Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host today, Andrew Adams. We're having a special episode without Jeremy. Don't tell him we're meeting behind his back. <laughs> uh, everything we do here at Whistlekick is in support of the traditional martial arts. If you want to see everything we do, check out whistlekick.com. That's our online home. You can go there and check out everything that we have. It's, it's the kind of where you'd find our store. If you decide to make a purchase, you can buy all sorts of things. You can buy Whistlekick hoodies. You can buy shirts, hats, training programs, all of that stuff. And you can use the podcast, uh, the code podcast15 to save 15%. Martial Arts Radio, this episode here, gets its own website, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. The show comes out twice a week. Our goal here at Whistlekick is to connect, educate, and entertain artists throughout the world. If you want to show your appreciation for what we do, there's a bunch of things you can do to help us out. You can make a purchase. You can tell a friend about us. You can join our Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You get kind of back, back. You get to look behind the curtain a little bit and see what it is that we're doing. Uh, You get to see upcoming guests and you actually get some free merchandise as well. So that's uh, kind of cool. Um, If you want to see the full list of everything you can do to kind of help us out, as well as a constantly rotating mix of behind the scenes and other fun content, check out whistlekick.com slash family. You got to type it in. There's no direct link. We make you work for it just a little bit. So you're probably wondering why there's an episode without Jeremy. It's unprecedented. This episode is to talk about the new Whistlekick Awards. And I'm joined today by four very special guests. First, we're joined by Mr. Friend of the Show, Craig Wareham. Hey, everyone. I'm looking forward to chatting today. Awesome. Craig, thanks so much. Great to be here. Uh, another longtime friend of the show does, uh, does some breaking I see all the time online. We've got Ms. Stacy Grove. I am glad to join you. Uh, I'm fresh from a Taekwondo summer camp and looking forward to talking about this project we've been working on for um, several months and ready to get it out the door. Excellent. Thanks. So thanks so much for being here. And we're also joined by Mr. Tommy Given. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to be here as well. Talk about the the program. It's awesome. Excellent. And uh, last but certainly not least, by any stretch of the means, Mr. Chris Rickard. Hey, Andrew. Thanks for inviting us all on here. I want to say first and foremost, because, again, good job on that intro. Jeremy has some big shoes to fill. I, you did a great job. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Chris. Thanks. So, um, Chris, you know, uh, we're chatting here really quick. Uh, Whistlekick Awards. One of the cool things about Whistlekick is we're growing. And there are a number of people that have kind of come on board to help with with uh, jobs that, that Whistlekick is doing. And one of them has been this awards thing. One of the reasons Jeremy's not here is because he knows all sorts. He knows everything about the Whistlekick Awards. I know nothing, which is what makes me the perfect host for this, because I, I'm going to ask the questions that people are asking because they don't know the answers. Jeremy knows all the answers. Don't tell him I said that. So talk to me a little bit about the, the, these Whistlekick Awards, where they came from, why Whistlekick is doing them. Okay, Andrew, I'm going to disagree with you a little bit when you said that you know nothing about these awards, not because you have behind the scenes information or anything like that. But you know whistle kick. Sure. You know what it's about. Okay. If I said ideas like everyone should train martial arts for six months, it would make the world a better place. Sure. And if we go with Jeremy's catchphrase of do what you have, where you're at with what you've got and everything like that. I butcher that every time I try to quote it, but you can hear Jeremy saying it. Those are some of the fundamental things behind these awards. It's the driving factors of whistle kick itself. And what we're looking to do here is recognize martial artists that are making the world and martial arts a better place just by doing what they do. It's not what they can do. It's what they do. Gotcha. All right. That's cool. That's now um, when did this, when did this brainchild come about? How did this, how did this come about? This one has been in the works for the better part of a year. I think at this point there was, a Facebook post or just a general announcement on First Cup, those places where Whistlekick always gets information. I was like, who might be willing to help out with 
this award sort of a thing that we're looking into. And just like so many other whistle kick things, there's an idea and then we kick it out to anybody that's interested. And some of us raised our hands and here we are, you see four faces with you today. And what ended up happening was we sat down, we did a lot of talking. There was a lot of laughing and a lot of fun along the way where we as a team tried to decide what things we wanted to recognize, what re represents whistle kick the best, what represents martial arts the best, what represents martial artists the best. And we ended up with four awards. And that's sort of how you have four faces talking to you is I think we're each going to take one of them and give you a little bit of information about it. Excellent. Okay. So a year. So what I, my takeaway from that is like everything whistle kick does a ton of planning and thought <laughs> went into this. That may be an understatement. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm going to throw it over to Craig here. Um, so, Craig, uh, obviously, you're a, a longtime friend of the show. You you might hold the award for having been on the show the most without actually having an interview episode. That's true. That's true. I'm proud of that record. Yep. Um, so, each of you have an award. I have the list of, of each of the awards, but I know no, I don't really know much about them. So why don't you go ahead and tell me about the award that you're uh, kind of spearheading here? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was asked by the group to talk about the flashlight award. And so the flashlight award, it was special to me um, in any aspect of forum in our lives and culture, we always shine spotlights on people, right? We always kind of, and there are plenty of people who love being in the spotlight. They do what they do so they can get public recognition. Um, we chose to name this one flashlight because this is us searching for the people who are doing the things worth noticing, um, whether in the martial arts or in their communities as leaders who maybe don't seek out the spotlight. They're mm -hmm. kind of just doing their thing. They may not even realize that they're doing something incredible. They're just doing it because it's the right thing to do or a nice thing to do. Um, you know, and one thing that was important to us about this is the rank doesn't really matter. You don't have to be a black belt. You could be, uh, you know, yellow belt doing an amazing thing with martial arts and, and be recognized in this award. Um, you know, and it's just to find those people and highlight them who deserve the recognition. Got it. So it's kind of like, uh, I've, I've often heard uh, as a joke, someone saying, uh, you know, wait and you need to wait before you help the old woman across the street until a bunch of people can see you do it. It's not right. It, it's you're going to help that old woman across the street because she needs to get across the street. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's, it's about catching people doing that in that moment. Like you said, I mean, the, to me, the hallmark of this one is that they don't seek recognition. It's just there. Um, you know, and that their actions are speaking louder than their words, because we also know that throughout and, and anywhere in our society, we can find people who talk a big game who don't, do what they're saying. So this is sincerely people who are just doing their best to make the world a better place. Got it. I love it. That's great. Well, thank you. That's great, Craig. Stacy, why don't you tell us about the award you're spearheading here? So I'm spearheading the Open Door Award, um, which, much like Craig's, is one that's um, kind of personal to me. It's it's the only one that recognizes the whole school and not just um, a single person. Or or an instructor, um, it's designed to celebrate a school that's created a culture where students would refer to it as their home or their family, um, where everyone's welcome and everyone wants to be there with each other, even though they're all different. They might be different ages, uh, come from different towns, different backgrounds. It's the schools that really make everyone want to start their journey and stay. Um, it's kind of a spirit of of openness, um, compassion, um, you know, the chance to work with others to make your life and their lives better together. Uh, Great. Wow. So that's interesting that it is a whole school. Like, you know, we've, we, I'm sure we've all seen different martial arts awards and, and, uh, things of that nature. And you're right that uh, from my understanding, they are, they are usually 
a single person. And so this one is for an actual it's, you know, school, dojo, dojang, training hall, whatever, martial arts school. It's really the, the community that's being celebrated and, you know, their ability to make people welcome, whether it's they've got a physical disability, um, mental challenges, the, come from a different style and they want to start in a new one. It just that that space that makes people welcome with where they are right now. Awesome. That's great. I love it. And that's the open door award. Yes. Excellent. All right. Tommy. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. So you, I've been told you are doing the enduring footprint. What is that? All right, so that's exactly what it sounds like. It's for that individual that left an enduring footprint in the community, on the martial arts, in your life, on the lives of the people that they have come across. And it, it, it's that bridge where you, you bring somebody in, and when they leave that footprint, it's not only distinctively martial arts, but it's the individual that was able to resonate themselves. And so just like finding Sasquatch's footprint that would last and make that imprint forever and people would put plaster Paris on it and, and try to save it, this is one that we can actually relate to. So that, you know, there always meet that person bigger than life, like, you know, like Bigfoot or bigger than life for whatever reason that is, but yet tangible in the sense where you know you've met them. And uh, so I, I was actually really honored to, you know, when this came about and got excited about it. And um, It's just so, it's one of those awards that the person getting it as well, just like the flashlight award, just like the open school award, you know, the open book and the family orienting behind it. You just know that person um, didn't do it for the award. You know, it's an honor. And that's the way we look at it is, you know, it's an honor to say, hey, you know what? You made an impact. Well, thanks. Can I go back to what I was doing? <laughs> that's the kind of person that um, is that we're looking for. And, you know, and I'm sure just everyone has those individuals in their life. But um, to, to bring merit to their work, uh, um, I, I think is is quite special as well. So. Excellent. So yeah, so, um, it, 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 it is worked. really it is really kind of how it sounds. It's someone that has left an enduring footprint on on uh, someone's life. That's great. Thank yeah. you, um, Chris. You know, as a, you know, and as a martial artist as well, right? It's you know, yeah. When most people see. Okay, so it looks like eyes behind him. Yeah. Uh, excellent. All right, Tommy. Thank you, so, uh, Chris. Right. We've got we've got one yeah. last award here we haven't heard about. <clears throat> tell us about tell us about what you got going on. So I'm representing emissary of the arts tonight, and I'm super proud to do so. Again, it, everyone sort of picked an art that, or an award that resonated with them. This is the one that resonates for me. And how many times have you heard someone go to a martial arts school, looking to join a class, and the person there is explaining? And all of these wonderful benefits that the child that might be getting signed up would receive the self discipline, the respect, the courtesy, the humility, the indomitable spirit, all of those things. And the average person has no idea what any of that is. And the parallel that I'm going to draw here is a dancer. If you have someone that knows how to dance, you can see it just watching them walk. They don't have to be dancing, you just see it in every moment or every movement that they do. The emissary of the arts is the martial arts equivalent of that. We're not asking people to go around and hit each other in the face or kick each other or whatever. This is the show us those core things about the martial arts that a martial artist is going to go, you're a martial artist. But the average person may not pick up on it. So you're out in the community, you're making a difference, but you're not wearing your belt to do it. You're being yourself. You're being that martial artist and you're making martial arts and the community a better place just by doing that. Gotcha. Okay. Now, so we've got these four awards. We've got Flashlight, Open Door, Enduring Footprint, Emissary of the Arts. 
how does somebody win one of these? How would someone get one of these awards? Well, the first thing that we're going to ask people to do is go to whistlekick.com. Of course, that's our hub for everything Whistlekick. And what they will find there are links for nomination forms. We tried to make it as easy as possible. There are four awards. There are four different links because we didn't want anyone to feel like they had to nominate someone for every award. This is the, you find that person that matches the award and you can nominate them. We're going to compile the nominations. And then later on this summer, we're going to have the nominees up. And then there'll be a period where we are going to have voting on the nominees that have been recognized. And then later in the year at a certain event that is very whistle kick known, shall we say, the actual award recipients will be announced. We're not saying which one right at the moment, but those of you that know whistle kick could probably figure it out, but we're going to leave you in suspense for at least a little bit. Gotcha. So people could probably read between the lines there if they are, if they're, if they're in the know about whistle kick, but there will be links up on our website, whistlekick.com. And just again, from what I hear there, you don't have to try and nominate someone or the same person for all four awards. You, you nominate someone that fits the, that fits best the award that you're nominating them for. That makes exactly. sense. Excellent. That's great. I, I'm excited for this. It's something that I have, uh, I've not seen in the martial arts. Uh, you know, I, I have seen awards and things, but they are usually different. They are usually given out at uh, you know a big symposiums type things, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I like that this one is going to be open to the public to vote on. Uh, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't. I don't know of other groups that do that. And I think that's pretty cool for us. That was kind of what we wanted is we wanted it to be a, a super open and community involved program. I think that people, it, because regardless of if you win the award or not, you're still getting that, that recognition. And, and that's what it's about is, is our opportunity as martial artists to recognize the greatness and the impact others have had. And by putting it in a public forum, I think that that really kind of helps with that. That's excellent. Is there anything that I'm missing? What am I, what do I, what do I need to know that I don't already know having listened to this episode? I would say you also don't have to feel like um, your nomination has to be perfect in grammar punctuation. This is, (laughs) this is from the heart. Um, Yeah. You know, Please don't worry about having the perfect wording or the perfect links to other things. Sure. This is this is meant to be something short and from the heart that you should be able to do um, easily without doing a lot of research or writing that'll take you hours. This is meant to be something you could do in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome guys. Well, thanks so much for coming on today and let and you know helping spread the word of of these awards and what they are uh, and how they can nominate. Again, the nomination pages are up and live as of right now, this recording. So you know, feel free if you think of someone, uh, go through and and nominate uh, people if you if you have someone that will fit one of one of these four awards. Um, Stacy, I want to thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you taking time to help. And obviously it's clear that everyone here has put in a ton of time on this. So Stacy, thank you, Craig. Um, I also just wanted to, because I know she's not going to do it, give Stacy a shout out for shepherding us through this process. Jeremy was involved, but Stacy was the driving force behind keeping us all organized on late night meetings and making sure we all did our homework. Um, so Stacy was a big driving force. So I just wanted to make sure she got that recognition as well. Excellent. Awesome. Craig, thank you so much for being here. Always a pleasure. Tommy, again, it's always great to see and hear from you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. I appreciate it as well. And Chris, uh, again, thank you for, for coming on and, and the work you've done with this. Uh, it's, it's clear that, like I said, a lot of, time and effort has gone into this and uh, it definitely shows. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing nominations and being able to vote and hearing about them later in the year. 
Thanks for having me, Andrew. Thanks for having all of us. We are really looking forward. We're excited about this. And again, trying to get things off to a positive start is what we're about and looking to just build that momentum the whole way through. And again, we can't make promises, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is not a one-time thing. This is the intention is to get this going where it's an annual thing. Awesome. Thanks so much for being here, guys. If you uh, liked what you listened to here today, you want to hear more, head on over to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Every episode has a page all to itself with links, photos, transcripts. Sometimes there's even more stuff. Um, If you're down to support us in all of our work, you have a number of options. You can leave a review, buy a book on Amazon, or help out with our Patreon account, patreon.com slash whistlekick. Here, I've got a little uh, further video viewers there. If you do go to our website and purchase something, you can use the code podcast 15, get 15% off everything that we offer at whistle kick. Um, If you have any guest suggestions, let us know We're all, there's a link on the website. You can give us that. Uh, You can find us on social media pretty much everywhere. We're at whistle kick. My personal email. If you want to get in touch with me is Andrew at whistle kick, martial arts, radio.com. Jeremy, who's not here is Jeremy at whistlekick.com. So until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.